In this video, I will be showing you how to add a motion effect to an image. And this is using Adobe Photoshop CS2 on the Mac. The first thing you want to do is browse and locate the picture that you want to add motion to. And for this tutorial, I'll be using... Oh, let's see here. What do I want to use? Um, no. Yeah. Angus. Angus Young. He always looks like he's going somewhere, doesn't he? That's a good one. Highway to Hell. Power Edge. Razor's Edge. There we go. Yeah. Stiff upper lip. Open that one. It's kind of small. That's alright. It'll work. Now, duplicate the background layer by pressing Command J or Control J on your Mac. I think. I think those shortcuts are the same. Yeah, Control J. And, uh,. Go under the filter menu. Under blur and choose motion blur. Filter menu's up here. <laughs> I'm just trying to add a layer mask. Motion blur. Look at that. Set the angle to the direction you want it to go in. If I wanted to blur up, I can do that. If I wanted to blur down, I can make it like that. I think I want him to go to the right. Wow, that's quite the blur. That hurts my eyes just looking at that. There you go. and use the distance control to control the amount of the effect. So we could really mess him up at this point. And then we could use that as a background image. I don't want it so much that you still can't tell that it's ACDC. I can still tell at that point. Press the letter E to switch to the eraser tool after you click OK. Then go to the options bar and click on the down facing arrow next to the brush thumbnail to get the brush picker. Like this. Choose a soft edge brush. That would be one of these. Now, uh, just erase over the areas that you want to remain detail. That you want to remain in detail, or that you want to retain the detail. As you erase, the original layer beneath your blurry layer will be revealed. Let's see if we can get a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, the master diameter should raise the stakes there. Let's see. Let's say we don't want this to be blurred. It won't be blurred. Let's say we don't want ACDC to be blurred, or at least a portion of it, so that we can still tell who it is in the background there. And that's it.